fucking phantom. I've been chasing you for three goddamn years. You do life for this, Tom. Maybe you in the chair. You don't want the guy who was punching tickets. You want the guy who was handing them out. So that's what this has been all about, huh? You offering up Salieri. The Don's books. The ones Frank stole. I have them. They're enough to put Salieri away forever, and they're yours. Assuming we have a deal. My family. For the Don. Do you recognize anyone? Look again. <sighs> Old man, that's Don Popone, two younger lads of Morello and Salieri. Yeah. Okay, I see it. <sighs> that must be what? 1920? April. Morello's wedding. Salieri was the best man. Jesus. They're just kids. Now they're Eddie's soldiers in Papone's mob. So what happened? How did they go from being best mates to Morello on a slab? I don't know. I didn't even know they were friends. <laughs> but you don't know could fill up the fucking Chrysler building. In 22... Papone drowns up at the lake. Right? In order to keep things running smoothly, Salieri and Morello agreed to divvy up the city. Yeah, I heard the story, so what? Well, their friendship should have made the deal work, but didn't make a lick of difference. After Morello, Salieri was beaming, thinking we ran the whole damn town. Me, I was just happy the war was over. But then I got to thinking about something. What good? It was all of Morello's money if it couldn't protect him from a regular Joe like me. Cabby, for Christ's sake. It only got him one thing. A great big bullseye in his fucking forehead. And that thought, it just kept turning round and round in my head until one day, I'm looking in a mirror. I start seeing a bullseye too. Right here. Dry your tears in the water hundreds, do you? I wasn't about to give up the good life, I know that. I just told myself that I was smarter than Morello. That I wouldn't turn around one day and find Polly or Sam pointing a gun at my head. The thing is, you don't see it. When you're out on the street, scrapping, fighting for your life, then the guy next to you isn't just your partner, he's your brother. You'd stick a knife in someone for your brother, right? But at night, you lie awake, wondering what he and Adam were whispering about behind the bar. Wondering if your best friend is hungry enough to betray you. Any trouble? No, boss. No trouble at all. Got something else for me? All these feels a little light. There's a little extra in mind to cover the difference. You ever go swimming, Tom? Been to the shore a few times, sure. I knew a couple of guys once. Took some dames out to the lake. Had a few beers, a few laughs. Then one of them decides to go in the water. Gets to the center of the lake and realizes he's running out of steam. Can't make it back in. He starts shouting for help. Now the other guy, he's a strong swimmer. He goes out in the lake to drag his buddy back to shore. Problem is, the first guy, the one too stupid to know when the water's too deep for him, he panics. 
grabs his friend by the neck, and they both go under and don't come up again. Paulie's your friend, and I know you're loyal to him, and I respect that. But don't you ever pay his tab again. OK, boss. Good. Now we got to talk about this Turnbull. The guy running for governor? The same. He's been flapping his gums a lot about cracking down on our businesses. <laughs> That's rich. He spent more on whores than Paulie and Sam combined. <laughs> you want me to pay him a visit? Maybe put him on a take? No. You can't trust the hypocrite, Tom. We need to end his campaign aspirations and in a way that keeps anyone from stepping up to the same platform. Vinny have a plan then? Of course. Turnbull's holding a rally near Central Island. The spot he picked is hard to reach and out in the open. Should have a beautiful view of the rally from the tower of the old prison. From there, you'll give Turnbull the third eye. OK. I'll go see Vinny about the gun. But don't forget, you only got one shot. You miss, and his crew will usher him out of there quick. I'm the best shooter you got. Otherwise, you'd be talking to someone else. Then get it done. Hey, handsome. <laughs> Ladies? You're wasted on that wife of yours. You know that? Uh, he'll never look our way. He's a good boy. Hey, Tommy. The boss says you got something for me. Yeah, I got a shipment in from a guy at Fort Stanmore. Now, Salieri wants this to run like clockwork, so no heat till the guy's head bursts. I hit little Tony, stash one of these where you need it. So, up high in the old prison? Yeah. Family's got a lot of history in that place. Hoods who live there now ain't so classy. So watch yourself. Little Tony locked the rifle up tight in a room with a view, up on the top floor. Sick of that politician shit in the papers, Tommy. We own this town now. Right between the eyes, huh? Find a way inside and make for the guard tower. The top deck is locked. That's what the key's for. Friend said you wanted the guard tower. Paid me to mark the way with this sign. Folks go through the sewer. Only way in. Then just keep heading up. Hey, you down there! We ain't going nowhere. Turn around! Someone's coming. No. Well, you ain't one of us. I'm warning you, mister. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
can't you people just leave us be? This is our home. Why can't you people understand that? <coughs> Everybody get! Is that you, cop? You're locked up tight, not getting in. <gasps> Someone's coming true. the guard tower. It's uh, up through the main cell block. Case locked most of the time. Keep the feds out. Thanks. Be careful in here, stranger. We're protective of our own.
Detain everyone you see! The police! It's the police! We'll only come back, you bastards! Get <laughs> 
Get to his side! <laughs> Did you hear about this Turnbull? Heard he was crooked as the day is long. It says in the paper he's going to be remembered for fighting to pass the 19th Amendment. Put his whole career on the line for it. Which one was that again? Woman suffrage, you idiot. He gave me the right to vote, Tom. Gave it to his wife and six daughters, too. Guess nobody's just one thing, are they? Guess not. I gotta go to work. <sighs> Tom, don't do nothing you don't want to be remembered for, you hear me? Probably too late for that. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, it's great, boss. And this is just a taste. I got a line on a whole shipment of Cameroons that have been impounded by customs. You guys are going to grab them. You want us to boost cigars? Something wrong with that? Customers in our nightclubs are paid through the nose for quality cigars. Still, it seems, I don't know, small time. I just knew you were a smart one, Tom. Can't put nothing past you. Small time is exactly right. That's how it's supposed to look, anyhow. The cigars are just a cover for a shipment of hot ice. The smuggled diamonds have been hidden in some of the boxes. The feds haven't found them yet. We're stealing diamonds from the feds? Don't worry about it. I've already discussed all the details with Sam here. He'll fill you in. Now, I got a meeting with the mayor at his favorite gentleman's club. Work out the details together. But I want those cigars back here before anyone catches on to the real loot. You got it? Sure, boss. Great. And don't drink all the good stuff while I'm gone. You know about this. Boss and I worked it out last night. We got a plan. Now, I'm not saying it's a good plan, but it won't get us killed. Probably. So what, then? We got a guy on the inside or something? No. We got to do this on our own. And it'll be rough. Cigars are packed in crates at the harbor. Shit. The place will be crawling with security. Yeah. 
Brute force won't work. We gotta play this one cool. So we're gonna steal a customs truck. Slip right in. <laughs> Christ. I'm gonna kill the poor bastard driver. No. We'll just scare him a bit. All we need is his paperwork. Right. We don't need the hassle of dumping a body. Come on. See if we can get eyes on a customs truck down by the docks. You alright, Tom? Yeah. Just trying to figure out the angle is up. What's there to figure? Boss says a job needs doing, we're doing it. Just seems like a lot to put on a line. Even for some diamonds. The feds pinch us. We can do serious time. Then let's make sure we don't get caught. Right? Yeah. I got gear for the job stashed down near the harbor. If either of you need something special, go see Vinny. All I need is a stiff drink. For Christ's sakes, Polly, just lay off for one night, please. Risky business tonight, Tom. Take whatever you need. Remember when you got made? Shaking down stores, whacking small-time punks. Feels a long time ago, huh? The job don't change, Vinny. One dead guy is the same as the next. Ah, enjoy it! All my life, I... Come on, let's go. You're making me nervous playing around with your piece like that. Sorry. Out of my mind as well. <laughs> that show. I'd have figured there wasn't enough room up there. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and laugh, assholes. You guys are done. I don't even think I got plans. But you're wrong. You got big plans. Yeah. Spill it then. What are you working on? Been thinking about hitting up a savings and loan downtown. You want to rob a bank? Sure. I've been casing the place for months. I got it all worked out. I just need a few guys I can count on to watch my back. We're robbing a bank that's a little out of our league. We're robbing the fucking feds, ain't we? What's the difference? Well, Salieri's the goddamn difference, you nitwit. The Don sent us to steal these cigars. There ain't no way he sanctions a bank job. Well, then we don't tell him. You want to step out on the dime? No. Not really. We can cut him in after we make the score. He'll be bent, sure. But he won't stay mad once he gets his share. I don't know, Polly. Yeah, I fucking know. You do what you want. I won't say nothing. Yeah, I owe you that much. But Salieri? Well, he, he finds out you're going behind his back, you'll be planted right next to Morello. You ask me, there ain't no hall worth that. He's right, Polly. You bring it to the Don, or let it go. Yeah. Just get to daydreaming, you know? Wake up. We're here. Tom, you take the car. Find a custom truck and meet us near the impound. Me and Polly, we'll go get the rest of the gear. Right. You got your head together. Yeah, sober as a priest. 
That's what I'm afraid of. Hey, quit busting my balls. I'm good. Park up over there, Tom. Where's my uniform? Huh? Uh, this is all we got, pal. Besides, there's only room for two in the cap. You can ride in the back. Make sure you keep your head down or this whole thing is blown. Forget about it. I know when to keep my head down. Mm. Make you say that to all the girls. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get moving. All right, all right. Jesus Christ. You comfortable back there, Tom? What the hell do you think? What's the plan when we get to the impound? I don't know. We looked for crates that came from Cameroon or something. The cigar place. You know how big the impound is. Relax. It'll be empty this time of night. We'll have the run of the place. You got your papers? Ah, uh, crap. Uh, yeah. Uh, Pete, you got the papers? The dash. What was that? Oh, is what? What? Here you go, pal. All right, go through. Busy night tonight. Yeah. Might not find a spot. Hear that? There's gonna be guys everywhere. It'll be fine. We just gotta think on our feet. Thinking on my feet is my worst thing, Sam. You know that. What kind of time do you guys call this? We need to have gone through these shipments by sunup. Yeah. Sorry, we couldn't find our papers. But we found them again. Just show us what to do, pal. We're new. We're all new, buddy. It's just that some of us know what time we got a clock in. Come with me. OK, Tom, looks like it's on you. Get into the warehouse and find a cigar crate that's hiding the diamonds. Okay. They keep records on everything here, so search their files. You're looking for Cameroon cigars that came in on a boat called the Bohemia. Ship docked on Tuesday, 23rd. Got that? Yeah. Don't get caught. Don't get seen. Come find us when you're done. No cigars, no diamonds. Keep turning up squat. Gotta be finding it soon. Ah, 
Jeez, give me a break. Found them. There he is. You sure we're getting what we came for? We're aces, boys. Good. Let's get them loaded and get out of here. That's the last of them. Let's dangle. I'm not riding in the back again. You're a better wheelman anyway. Just don't drive us into the bay. Shit. You hear that? Okay, Tom, gun it. Let's go, let's go! Jesus, Tom, it ain't comfortable back here, huh? Through the gates! There's been a break-in at the Federal Customs Impound. Suspects are escaping in a customs truck. I want roadblocks everywhere. Every cop in town's gonna be on their way. So let's get out of sight, fast as you can, Tom. Road's closed up ahead. Find another way. If we get seen, they'll raise hell. Checkpoint! Give it a wide berth, Tommy. Anyone seen the truck? Call in with you, fellas. like we left them behind. Yeah, hopefully. Where the hell were you back in the compound? We were about to give up. The place was a maze. It's a miracle I found the crates. Next time we pull something like this, we need a better plan. More information. A better plan? He got the ice, didn't he? Yeah, but next time... Well, next time what? We run it all through you? The scores like these are your best thing? Guys, I'm trying to drive here. Let's get back to the warehouse without LHPD on our tail, huh? Sure. We got the diamonds, the boss will be happy. That's all that matters right now. Those rocks had better be as big as the goddamn ridge for all the crates we had to move tonight.
You okay? Yeah. Yeah, a couple of these crates are shot to shit, though. How bad is it? It's the worst of it. It don't look too good. Don's gonna be pissed if we ruined any of the cigars. What the hell? Christ. It's dope. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Where are the diamonds? There ain't any. This is the real score. No. No, 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 no. Don said we would get diamonds. You can open every box. You're not going to find them. We put our fucking necks out on the line for this shit. Looks like it. You better cool off, Polly. The Don's coming. Shit. We don't say nothing about this to the Don. Okay, if he wanted us to know, he would have told us. He should have come clean. Sure. But for now, we keep our trap shut. Right? Yeah, okay. Polly? Yeah. Yeah, I ain't saying nothing. Any problems, boys? One of the crates got a little banged up, he's on. All right. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. Might have lost a few cigars, but otherwise the merchandise should be okay, boss. Besides, ain't diamond supposed to be the hardest thing around? Outside of my cock, maybe. Well, bravo, boys, bravo. You all got a well-deserved bonus coming your way. You want us to unload the crates into the warehouse? No, you can take a powder. These morons are gonna take it from here. You sure? what I say? Okay, boss. We'll dangle. Sam, give me a lift back to the bar. Sure, boss. You guys coming? Nah, we'll take the train. Okay. See you later. Yeah, but what are you gonna do? I already told you. The bank. Yeah. I don't care what Sam says. I'm getting that score. How much you figure? You want in? We're just talking. I knew I could count on you, pal. So which bank? Grand Imperial, where North Park meets downtown. Yeah, been there a while back. Well, the security don't look tight. Easy getaway. Tellers who don't look like they put up a fight. Can't do it alone. Maybe. I'm not moving Black Tar for the Don, especially if he's not cutting us in. And I don't know. I just never want to be in that street again. What street? On my knees, watching some poor skirt burn just because she got in our way. It was the wrong place in the wrong time. Just tough luck. Seems there ain't no other kind with us. I'm telling you, Tom, this is perfect. I wouldn't ask you to come in on this if I didn't think it was our ticket. We'll see. I'm not signing up for the job until I see what's what. If I get pinched, Sarah's done with me. You got a family to look after. I get that. But think about what this could mean for them. Watch it, buddy. You're treading into enemy territory without a map. Yeah. I don't know what it's like for you going home to your wife and kid. But that's why I'm doing this. Who's gonna marry me? I'm nearly 40 years old and nothing to show for it but my rap sheet. But we do this? I get enough scratch to finally get out? Who knows? You're not built for the domestic life, Polly. Well, six months in, you'll put a bullet in your brain out of boredom. Christ. I'm ready to punch my ticket right now. We sit around for six months, just playing cards and busting balls, and I start to get lazy. Then everything blows up, and I gotta knock the rust off or I'm dead. One day I'm fighting to stay awake while the Don's telling us a story about the old days. One I've already heard a hundred times, and the next day, the next day I'm getting shot at, trying to keep some shit in my pants. 
You're fucking wearing me out, Tommy. So you're looking for the big one, though? I know, it's a snipe hunt. Every little mouse goes to bed dreaming about that last big score. But if we do this thing, I don't know. Might be just enough to get me a little pizzeria or something, you know? Sure. But if we're doing this, we're waiting until things calm down. Ah, you're already hooked, pal. Maybe. Percent. That is better than a hundred percent.